Wow. What a case. Now, a lot of you had reached out to me and said, look, you've got to look at this case. You know, this little boy. And I, I, I was shocked. I was shocked. This is little Quinton who went missing on the 5th of October from Savannah in Georgia. And look, I, 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 I'm shocked, if I'm honest. I'm really shocked. Now, it would appear that this is now being classed as a criminal investigation. After however long it's been, we're now seeing that they've kind of ramped up and said, look, there's something more to this than simply this 20-month-old toddler got up and wandered off as if he was going on some sort of adventure. We've looked at the background of this family and boy, oh boy, is it a checkered past. And look, I'm going to be likely saying stuff that you guys are already way ahead of me. I'm just coming on board sort of after you guys have said, look, have a look. But from what I can see, this is what I see of it. I see a completely fucked up, dysfunctional family who it would appear that there is a dynamic of... The daughter just seems like, and this is the mum of Quentin, the daughter is useless. She's not bothered about the children. There is neglect. There is obviously distrust between the mum, which is the grandparent of Quentin, who has custody, and the daughter. The, the mother has come out and literally said um, that she doesn't trust her daughter. She doesn't, yeah. We've got a babysitter in the background as well. Who oh, look, it would appear that the grandmother has broken into the babysitter's house and accused her of selling the child. When, from what I can gather from looking at the different accounts, it would appear that the babysitter is one of the only people around this child who seemed to care. And I'm not saying, look, the grandmother didn't care. I'm just kind of, you know, I'm taking it from the information that I've looked at. And from what I can see, the babysitter seems to be fine. You know, she seems to be someone who has pointed out issues in the past. The fact that this little boy had been covered in bruises, that he would go to her without diapers, he would go to her without food. You know, the concerns there for the welfare of the children. We've also got an uncle in the background, which it would seem that Quinton was actually named after, and he's currently incarcerated for murder as well. So just to throw that in the mix, we've got, yeah, ourselves a little bit of a bubbling melting pot. But anyway, we're, we're hearing more and more stuff come out because it would appear that the FBI, at one point, they didn't know where Quinton's parents were. And it would appear that someone has come forward for Danny, the, the father, and said, well, he's with us. He's actually in Atlanta. He's with us. And he's keeping away from that situation. Amongst these conversations, they have said that the mother has failed a polygraph, but Danny, he passed a polygraph. And that's why he got his phone back and why he was actually allowed to leave Savannah and go to Atlanta in the first place. So they're kind of insinuating, look, that the mother has not passed hers. And again, I'm, what I'm saying here is that this is what's coming out. This is what's being said by close friends of Danny. There are some things that I feel don't quite add up 100%. And look, I'm not here to, at this stage, say that person did this or that person did that. But there seems to be some issues from the morning that Quinton went missing. Obviously, the babysitter was due to go in. She received a text to say that she didn't have to. Um, there was some comments made by Danny about the night before Quinton went missing. That there was a specific lie told by Quinton's mum regarding whether she'd left the property or not. Now... My, my my thought process here is that Quentin was reported missing the following morning. So that kind of makes whatever happened the evening before irrelevant. So if she's lied about the day before, I don't really see any relevance to that. 
you probably know more about that than what I do. But yeah, this friend has turned around and said that one of the specific lies that was taken during the polygraph test was surrounding something from the day previous. But then Danny has said that he had seen Quentin before he went to work on the morning that he went missing. So is Danny lying? Did he not actually see Quentin? Because if he did, then again, what relevance does the day before have? Unless there was something else there that Quentin hasn't stated to his friend or his friend hasn't sort of stated across social media as she goes on the kind of the defence for him back in his corner. But look, yeah. So this is now a criminal investigation. And from what I can understand, it's kind of people have been waiting for it. The people who have been from this case, with this case from the start, they've kind of wanted it to head in this direction. There's so much going on around this little boy that look, people want this to be dealt with properly. The information has been gathered and this is where we now find ourselves. So over the upcoming days... If this person who is vouching for Danny and talking about the polygraph test is being honest, then it would appear that the mum has lawyered up. Whether we will find out more about that and how that's going to progress, it's now just a waiting game. But look, look what we've got in the family. We've got a situation, like I say, where the uncle, who Quinton was named after, he was involved in a murder in the woods not far from the home. We've got a little boy who is missing. He's not been seen and apparently abducted from his home. That is what mum is saying. That is the story from the the camp, if you like. But um, what do we know? What do we know at this stage? We know that nine times out of ten, when a child of this age goes missing, vanishes, it's more than likely going to be the parents who are involved um, and that's just statistics for you. Now, could we be proven wrong? Of course we could. But at this stage, from what I can see, guys, I think this could potentially not have the best ending, and um, I think we're going to see some more parents being pulled through the mill. Perhaps rightly so, who knows. But I'll catch you in the next one.